Stage six of the Tour of Turkey, destination Marmaris, and a beautiful coastline to play with, although a short day of 129 kilometers in total. Temperatures hovering up around 22 Celsius as well, made for a pleasant ride, unless you didn't like climbing. With a mountain prime at the very end, and a descent into Marmaris, it was going to be a test. Ramps of around 12% to be dealt with, peaking out with 10 k's to go. Well, they rolled out this morning in beautiful weather. A tailwind was always going to liven things up. Mark Cavendish sporting the green points jersey, the lead now having been taken over by Jose Diaz of Delco after that great run on stage five up to Amali. Well, the man in the break, Ivar Zlik from A Block, wearing the white Turkish beauty sprints jersey, determined to hold on for that and perhaps make it his own if he was to bag more points today. Rivi of Elo Cometa, we had Paco from Bignol. Likewise, up there was Zaccarato of Bardiani and Schoenberger from B&B Hotels. They worked well together and they had an accord, but they knew that Ivar Zlik was only here for mountains points. He duly took those and then faded once we started to climb. A double climb indeed, a Category 2 test and everyone wanted to be up and in the right place. And when the road narrowed, a few bumps and bruises we have. The peak then looming large in the minds of everybody, not least the sprinters who just had to hang on and maybe get back on with their lead out trains on the descent. And quite a focused one it was too. Astana, Premier Tech, they had plenty of ambition, not least for Brusensky himself. Maybe Mahawi Kudis. Likewise, we would see. They were certainly shaking it up and determined to hurt the legs of the fast men to give themselves a chance. Their problem was there was plenty of recovery time and all the sprinters got back on with their teammates, ready to tee themselves up for a fast finale. And that's exactly what we got. Israel Startup Nation trying to help Andre Greipel repeat the feat here on a stage he'd won in the past. Mark Cavendish had done so as well. He was also in the frame in the green jersey. Likewise, Anil Koski in the white jersey of the Polish champion. Philipson was in the frame as well. And it was he that went to the right-hand side of the road and secured the victory. Just edging Andre Greipel at the line. Fast finishing Mark Cavendish hampered by Anil Koski, the Polish champion. And in so doing, Alverson it was that came through for third. Philipson, who'd finished behind Mark Cavendish on every one of the sprinting stages, finally found himself winning a stage. Two more stages to come. Could he equal Mark's tally of three wins? Let's see. Greipel just edged ahead of Halverson and Cavendish with Anukovsky fifth. Great day today then for the breakaway, but they didn't quite get there. They've got another chance, however, and some gaps may well just start to open up this weekend. Diaz will hoping to keep those closed he leads by four seconds ahead of Vine and Sepulveda. Turgatrice and uh, Kuzadazi still remain on this presidential cycling tour of Turkey. More drama guaranteed this weekend. <laughs>